All right, then we've gone to we've gone to the last lecture in the first section, which is subnetting and IPv4. Now this is where everybody always has an issue with uh, subnetting. So I'm going to condense this so much that you're going to say, "My God, why didn't you say that in the first place?" Okay, but I did. All right, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you all you need to know about subnetting. Check this out. And you saw it in the previous one. OK? 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. That's it. That's all you need to know about subnetting. Well, that's not true. Then you need to pay attention to see which octet you're in. So let me give you some examples. Let's say you're given a mask of a CIDR 20, CIDR 22. We know already 32-bit address, right? OK. 8 bits on, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's 6. 7, 8, and then you have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're focusing right here, aren't we? Yeah? And I said in the very first lecture that these bit values are the same in every octet. They don't change. So where's the line here? What is that bit value? Well, 1, too far. So this bit value right here is 4. That's it. I'm done. I add these two, or one less is that. It's 3. And this is 255. That's if you want to do it the long way. I increment by 4, right? That 4 means that's how my network increments by the third octet. So my first network, and let's say we're using the zero network, x, x, 0, 0. Now I'm only going to do the third octet. Next network, we increment by 4, 4.0, 8.0, 12.0, 16.0, and you can keep going to get down to the very last one. And what is going to be your last network? It asks you, what is the very last network if you increment by 4? What is it that you do? What it, well, it's right here. If you add these bit values together, you get 252. That's your last network if you increment by 4. How about that? Because the 0 network is two networks, right? The 0 and the very last network, which is your subnet mass, 252. That's the entire range right there. So now that's the network ID, right? This is the network ID. So how do I get the broadcast address? OK. That's why these numbers come into play. Third octet, third octet. 3 plus 0 is what? 3. 255 and 0, 255. Now I want you to notice, 3.255, it reached the maximum value, did it not? So that means that the next network that we know it's 4 because it reached the maximum value, it flipped this guy over to 4, reset itself back to 0. It's just like a car. So if that's the case, I can always say, well, what's less? To get the broadcast, this is the broadcast for that network. Well, what's the broadcast for this network? I can always add that, or I can say, what's 1 less 8? What's less the 0? Well, 255. If I add 3 plus 4 is 7, 255 plus 0, 255. So you can do it either way, OK? All right, let's find out the broadcast for this one. I'm sure you know. Let's do the adding. 3 
plus 12, 15. Twenty five and zero. Two five five. Okay? It's uh let me see. Three plus twelve is fifteen. Three plus eight. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. I'm in the wrong spot. So sorry. So sorry. I got ahead of myself. Whoops. What happened there? I moved everything around. Let's do this again. Sorry, I got in the wrong spot. Went too far. Three plus eight, uh, three plus eight, not plus twelve. We're working here. Three plus eight is eleven. Yeah. Come on, lads, get with it. And then two fifty-five plus two fifty-five, two fifty-five. Okay. All right. Now the broadcast for twelve. Three plus twelve is fifteen, and then two fifty-five for the last one, and then this one. 16 plus 3 is 19. And then 0 and 255. Okay, that's it. All I needed was a mass. Draw my line, saw my increment, which was 4. And now, but you need to pay attention to the octet you're working in so you know how to increment. And then what's in between? What's after 0, 0? Let's put it in red so you can see, so you can see the range, right? It's 0 dot 1 through through 3 dot 254. One less. Not 2 dot 254, because this gotta, has to roll back all the way to 0 before this can go down to 2. Then 4 dot 1 through 7 dot 254, and so forth. 8 dot 1, 11 dot 254, 12 dot 1, 15 dot 254. 16.1, 19.254. That's all there is. That's all there is to it. That's why I, I keep telling you guys, all right, that the only thing you need to know, okay, the only thing that you need to be aware of when you're subnetting are these bit values right up here, okay? I'll just rewrite that for. Okay. Okay, that's all you need to know are those bit values. But last, what if they give me hosts? What if they don't give me a subnet mask? What if they just give me a number of hosts? Not a problem. Okay, let's say, and we'll, let's work on the last octet so I don't make a whole mess of the whole board. Okay, let's say they give you, I don't know, uh, 22 hosts. Okay, we know it's on the last octet because the last octet, by default, right, 255, 255, 255, the last octet gives you hundreds of addresses, correct? So, okay, so in the last octet, I need how many hosts I said? 22? Well, let's count. Let's see, we don't know. We know we're working on the last octet because they only need 22 hosts. We have no idea what mass we're going to use. We don't know where that line is at. Four, five, Six, seven, eight. Let's draw the numbers in uh, blue, okay, for the host. So remember, you count for host, you count from right to left. So, two, whoa. What happened there? It's a sickly two there. Okay, let's try that again. Two, much better. Four, we double as we go. 8, 16, can't stop there, that's too little, I need 22, 32. Now I can stop. I have enough host, right? Let me draw my line. There's my line. And we know that we have to subtract 2 on the host side, right? That will give us actually 30 host. Okay? Why we subtract 2 on the host side? Because the network ID and the broadcast address can be used. Only what's in the middle, the range. So we got 30 hosts. We need a 22. So what mask is that? Right? What mask are we using? We're using 8 and 8 is 16. I mean, yeah, 8 and 8 and 8, that's 24. 25, 26, 27. 
So we're using a CIDR 27. Okay? So there's our magical line right there. So we're incrementing in that bit value. 3 bits in. 128, 64, 32. So we're incrementing by 32. So all we did, somebody said, I need 22 holes. Not a problem. Last octet. I counted for my host. I got my 30 holes. It plenty, right, for 22. So once I drew my line, I saw I'm 3 bits in. I'm seeing that I'm incrementing by 32. Okay, well, just so you know, and we'll put it in blue just to keep the same format, 2, 4, 8. There you go. You got 8 subnets with 30 holes on each. So my first network, and let's put it back in black, my first network would be, if using the zero network, okay, would be x, 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 zero. And then, since we come in by 32, 32. These are the network IDs. 64, 96, 128, right? And it can keep going. It keeps going all the way up to what? If you add these three bit values, what do you get? 224. Remember, zero network is zero, and the very last network, which is your mass, 224. If you add these three big values right here, you're going to get 224. So you can keep going all the way down to 224. But let's just use the broadcast. Now let's just uh, put the broadcast. We'll put it right here. I'm just going to write the last octet. Well, if I add these big values to the right, it's going to give me 31. It's always going to be 1 less 32. So I can go 1 less 32 is this guy's broadcast. 1 less 64, 1 less 96, 1 less 128, and then since there's not another one, I can say, well, what's 31, right? The addition of these bits, okay, 31 and 128 is what? 159. There's your broadcast. Then what's in between? 1 through 30, 33 to 62, 65 to 94, 97 to 126, 129 to 158. That's it. That's all you need. All you need is to draw that line. Know what increment you're working with. Increment down. One less, one less, one less, one less, one less. Just pay attention to what octet you're in. That's it. This will not fail. And this system is the one that you're going to use as well for IPv6. But remember, IPv6 is in hex. But don't worry. Once we get to that section, I'll guide you through it very slow, step by step, and you'll see you'll get it. Okay, that was your review for subnetting. I hope you got it. If not, the course is up there. You can go ahead and get it, and uh, it'll teach you from scratch. Okay, I'll see you in the next section.